Hi students, welcome you all to the new class on construction materials and engineering. Today we will discuss about a new topic called lime. We have studied about lots and lots of building materials, including brick, clay. Then here becomes the lime. As per the learning specific outcome 1.3.1, we might discuss about the sources and their classification and manufacturing methods of lime. This can be asked for 2 marks as well as for 6 or 9 marks in your examination. Okay. So, we are going to the introduction part of the lime. As you all know about the limes, they are available in market in different forms. Okay. It is an important engineering material. Okay, it's an important engineering material used in engineering construction. In engineering construction, it's a very, very important material. Okay, if you want to whitewash it, whitewash your walls, definitely you need to buy some lime. So, it can be in ancient times and all, it can be used as a cementing material before the invention of cement may be defined as the material which has a capacity of holding structural unit together which is sufficient strength okay in order to hold the two stones together we can we can use the limes right namukandu veikam lime upayogikam appo nammal paranju vannu oru vaadu building material questione kurichittu we have already discussed today we are discussing about limes so they are available in different forms Lime, simply lime, natural cements. In gypsum also, it contains. It contains in Portland cement also. Lime contains. Okay, we have already studied. In uh, what are the constants of cement and uh, gypsum and all those things. Okay, so lime is a primary constituent in everything. It's a simply lime means calcium oxide. It's an oxide of. It's an oxide of. Structure of calcium in massive monuments and palaces, forts. There are lots of constructions that has been have already taken place and which stands as a monument, which which stands as a palace, as a fort. In ancient times, I have told you there we are not we were not using cement. Instead of cement, we were using the lime. Which is reliable and an economical cement material. Reliable, very economical. I have a cement material. Lime. Right? So, the lime will be used. Lime as a binding material. Binding material I have to use. Two stones or two brick can be connected by using some binding material. Before the discovery of cement, we were using the lime. Okay. So, before going into the deep into the subject, first we will uh, have some definitions of certain terms. Okay. So, if you study the terms thoroughly, then only you can understand uh, the rest of the terms or rest of the subject. Alright. First of all, what is calcination? What is calcination? The calcination, it is nothing but Heating to redness in contact with air. In the presence of air, if you are heating the lime till redness, okay, if till red color is obtained, is known as calcination. Then comes the hydrolicity. Hydrolicity is the property of lime by which it sets or hardens in damp places. As you know, what is a damp growth? Last semester, no, sorry, you are uh, since you are in third semester, right? Okay. Damp proof course. Okay. In order to dampness, number two, I never, I never provide you. I never even thought you could do such a damp proof course. And you guys are at the same stage. Okay. Then, I never even said you are not going to be able to hydrolysis. Then, lime. Then, lime. Due to, when we are lime, we are due to calcination of limestone. We are doing limestone. Now, we are doing stone. We are doing it's a type of. This type of stone. I am doing something like this. Due to calcination of limestone, moisture and carbon dioxide are removed from it. Sorry. Calcination of limestone, 
then uh, moisture and carbon dioxide will remove the remaining products in the lime and okay due to the calcination of limestone lime is obtained right then comes quick lime it's obtained by calcination calcination of comparatively pure lime limestone there may be questions uh, in uh, public service examination from these sections that is the lime obtained by calcination of pure limestone option a quick lime option b lump lime option c slaked lime but you have to write that that quick lime is the right answer okay that is also but this is korcham kuda pure form aanu okay pure limestone na calcination cheyal quick lime kittu idakka nammal vishadamayittu padikkunnathu then ee quick lime ni greater affinity for moisture aayirun valare moisture like pattana pidikkanulla oru idunda adane quicker affinity for moisture so quick lime as it comes out from kin namak ariyam calcination enna process carry out cheyunnathu kinilana kin nammal adippu ningal manasilai cheyyu aa udan thanne comes out cheyina aa point il veruna lump lime ennaanu nammal vaangu oru term aanu idu parishayikka vekkana as it comes out from the kin is known as lump lime then setting ennu parayan endaan process of hardening of lime after it has been converted into paste form vellam oichu cement aayilo endaan vellam oichu cheyina set aavunnathu set cheyunnathu pole ലൈമിന് വെള്ളം ഒഴിച്ചു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ സെറ്റ് ആവുന്ന പ്രോസസ്സിനെ നമ്മൾ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞത് സെറ്റിംഗ് പ്രോസസ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ദെൻ കംസ് സ്ലേക്കിംഗ് വെൻ വാട്ടർ ഈസ് ആഡ് ടു ക്യൂക്ക് ലൈം നമ്മൾ വെള്ളം എടുത്തിട്ട് ക്യൂക്ക് ലൈമിലേക്ക് ആഡ് ചെയ്യാണ്ട് സഫിഷ്യന്റ് ക്വാണ്ടിറ്റി എ കെമിക്കൽ റിയാക്ഷൻ മേ ടേക്സ് പ്ലേസ് ആസ് വി നോ സിമിലർലി ഇൻ സിമെന്റ് ഓൾസോ ദർ ആർ സം കെമിക്കൽ റിയാക്ഷൻ ടേക്സ് പ്ലേസ് സിമിലർലി വെൻ വാട്ടർ ആഡ് ടു ക്യൂക്ക് ലൈം ഓക്കെ ദർ ആർ സം കെമിക്കൽ റിയാക്ഷൻസ് ഇൻവോൾവ് ഡ്യൂ ടു ദിസ് കെമിക്കൽ റിയാക്ഷൻ വാട്ട് ഹാപ്പൻസ് ടു ക്യൂക്ക് ലൈം Quick lime cracks, swells, and fall into water form calcium hydrate. Okay. Quick lime may we may add some water. What will happen? It may convert into calcium hydrate. This is the reaction. This is known as slaking of lime or slaking of quick lime. Okay. There may be questions in public service examination from this part also. From the calcium oxide, we have told you what is calcium oxide. This is nothing but quick lime. quick lime in pure form lime in pure form calcium oxide when water is added h2o is added it slakes and convert into calcium hydroxide this is a some chemical reactions involved with this this is something an exothermic reaction we should have we might have studied in then this started le chatelier principle and all we may it's why i studied about the forward reaction how can we increase the rate of reaction right and all okay so that is such a type of chemical reaction is an exothermic reaction so can be carried out very speedily or very fastly by steam under pressure in a closed room as we know we have studied in plus 2 and all when the pressure increases what will happen to the chemistry the reaction rate of rate, rate of the reaction also will increase nam under pressure will carry out angle rate of the reaction will increase him appo end him product will very fast i think form in that kind of right okay then a thin pourable suspension of slaked lime in water is called milk of, milk of lime endana milk of lime ennu parana endana milk of lime thin pourable suspension of slaked lime in water okay appo vera term aanu parana milk of lime endana slaked lime ini slaked lime na inde thin pourable aayoru suspension formula illa sambhavathil nammal endu parayum milk of lime ennaanu parana okay appo ithrayum kaaryangal idaga exam ni chela objective type ni choikkan pattana enna parayunde points aanu ee rendu annathil parannathillathu next thing what are the sources of lime this is the next question okay what are the sources of lime the lime is not usually available in natural in free state lime our natural free aayi kaanapadunnilla annu parayunnathu it is procured by burning one of the following materials idu procure cheyyanathu idu engenaanu nammal ee lime namukku kittunathu idu thaaye parayna edu edu stone namukku endiya choodaaka calcination vidheyamaakkiyal namukku kittuna saanam endaanu it may call lime so limestone from stone hills there are some stone hills located in some places if you are taking the limestone and if you are uh, subjected to the calcination we will be getting the lime then boulders boulders are as we know boulders are very large stones boulders of limestones from the beds of old rivers as we know we have so many old rivers if you are taking some boulders of limestone then if you are heating it will be getting the lime calcium oxide right so canker found below the ground there are some cankers found below the ground that also can be a source of lime shells of sea animals 
നമ്മുടെ സി ആനിമൽസിന്റെ ചെറിയ കക്കയുടെ ഇതൊക്കെ എന്താണ് ലൈവിന്റെ സോഴ്സ് ആണ് ദെൻ കംസ് വൈ ഒരു പോയിന്റ് ആണ് പറഞ്ഞത് ഇത്രയും സംഭവമാണ് സോഴ്സ് ആയിട്ട് പറഞ്ഞത് ഓക്കെ അപ്പൊ സോഴ്സ് ചോദിച്ചാൽ ഈ നാലെണ്ണത്തിൽ രണ്ടെണ്ണോ മൂന്നെണ്ണോ രണ്ട് മാർക്കിനൊക്കെ ചോദിച്ചാൽ നമുക്ക് എഴുതാൻ വേണ്ടി പറ്റണം It may be noted that white chalk is a pure limestone. White chalk is a pure limestone. It is a pure limestone. White chalk is manufactured in the same way. It is a pure limestone. 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 Just to answer that, Kanker is a pure limestone. Whereas white chalk is a derivative. So it is a pure limestone. White chalk is a pure limestone. Kanker is a pure limestone. Next, classification of limes. The lime can be categorized into three types. How many types? Yes, good. Three types. What are the three? Fat, hydraulic, then comes very poor lime. Okay. Fat, hydraulic, poor lime. So, what's a fat lime? As the name suggests, fat means rich. Okay, fat, fatty. Something uh, in large quantity, right? So, also known as high calcium lime or pure lime or rich lime, white lime, everything is equal. Okay. It is uh, the same form only. Pure lime, rich lime, white lime, etc. The thing is like, it is like vigorously and its volume increases up to 2.5 times uh, the volume that of the thick lime. It is like, it is like, What the thing is like? The fat line slakes vigorously. What is slaking of line? We might have studied what is slaking. That is the addition of water is known as the slaking. So, compared to the cuc line, okay, as we know, compared to the cuc line, for the cuc line, we have added the well line. But under the times, I think fat line is more than that. So, Prepared by calcining comparatively pure carbonates of lime. What are pure carbonates of lime? Calcination with them. Okay. So, here is the fat lime. Here is the fat lime. Here is the fat lime. Pure carbonates of lime. Here is the fat lime. Here is the calcination. Here is the calcination. Here is the fat lime. Here is the fat lime. Here is the fat lime. Composed of 95% of calcium oxide. So, if you want to add this, that's why the slakes vigorously are used. That's why we have to study the fat line in the manufacture. I have to study the detail of the fat line. I have to study the introduction. So, properties, it hardens very slowly. High degree of plasticity, soluble in water. Perfectly white. It sets low in presence of air. We have to study the fat line in the manufacture. Slakes vigorously. Slaking is the water line. It is faster than the water line. 2.5 times more. It is faster than the water line. That's why we have to study the fat line. Slaking of lime. What are we going to say to slaking? That is fat lime. We are going to say pure lime and fat lime. White washing and plastic. What are the uses of fat lime? White washing and plastic. With the sands, it forms lime water which sets thin joints and can be used as a brickwork or stonework. Stonework and brickwork can be used as a brickwork. Stand in the upper one and mix it. Okay? Stand in the upper one and mix it. Fat lime is a good joint filler. Okay? Fat lime is a good joint filler. With Surki, Surki is another type of binding agent. It forms lime water, it forms lime water which possesses good setting and hydraulic plant can be used in thick material for foundation etc. Surki is also used to be 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 used Okay, padi kau nak lalu, adik yang cinti kau nak lalu. Apa next comes the hydraulic. Ini ni manufacturing karya yang agak biasa, tapi itu padi kau ni. Apa untuk orang justi yang agak introduction ni. Hydraulic lain mana? Water lain mana? Biar lari pada lain mana? Set under water, pada tulis set tau. Contains clay and some amount of ferrous oxide. Kita textbook lalu comparison kau tu ni. Adik yang agak gold class tu mili, ini notes itu agak banyak padi. Okay. Apa ini atta pure allah. Pure limestone itu tidak akan ada hydraulik. Ia akan ada. Ia ada korek clay itu. Ada anak hydraulik pun fat lime dalam ini juga. Some percentage of clay will be involved. Atau ada clay itu ada. Fat lime mana? They are rich in pure lime. They are nothing but pure lime. So, they can be categorized into three types: feebly hydraulic, moderately hydraulic, eminently hydraulic. Jika pada bahasa Inggeris pun juga ada biasa. Abi ini betul betul modal mukbang di sana mana mereka 
ക്ലേ ഉള്ള സംഭവത്തിന് നമ്മൾ എമിനന്റ്ലി ആണ് ലെവൻ ടു ട്വന്റി എഴുതെങ്കിലും മോഡറേറ്റ്ലി ഫൈവ് ടു ടെൻ ആണ് ഫീബ്ലി ഹൈഡ്രോളിക് ലൈഫ് ആണ് ഇങ്ങനെ മൂന്ന് കാറ്റഗറി ഉണ്ട് എന്ന് നിങ്ങൾ മനസ്സിലാക്കി നോക്കാം നെക്സ്റ്റ് കംസ് പ്യുവർ ലൈഫ് നമ്മൾ പറഞ്ഞു ഇതിന്റെ മാക്സിമം ലിമിറ്റത്തിലാണ് എമിനന്റ്ലി ഹൈഡ്രോളിക് ലൈഫ് എന്ന് തേർട്ടി പെർസെന്റേജ് ക്ലേ ആണ് ഇനി മുപ്പത് ശതമാനത്തിൽ കൂടിയാൽ എന്ത് ചെയ്യും ദ ആർ നോൺ ആസ് പുവർ ലൈഫ് ഒരു വസ്തുവിന് വളർത്ത ലൈം എന്ന അർത്ഥം ഇംപ്യുവർ ലൈം ഓർ ലീൻ ലൈം എന്നാണ് നമ്മൾ അതിന് പറയുന്നത് വളരെ സ്ലോ ആയിട്ട് മാത്രമേ അവർ സ്ലേക്ക് ചെയ്യും വെള്ളം ആഡ് ചെയ്താൽ അവരുടെ റിയാക്ഷൻ വളരെ സ്ലോ ആയിരിക്കും അങ്ങനെ പെട്ടെന്നൊന്നും കാൽഷ്യം ഹൈഡ്രേറ്റ് ആയിട്ട് കൺവേർട്ട് ചെയ്യില്ല അതാണ് പുവർ ലൈം എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞത് ഫോംസ് എ തിൻ പേസ്റ്റ് വിത്ത് വാട്ടർ തിൻ പേസ്റ്റ് ആണ് ഉണ്ടാക്കുക വളരെ സ്ലോ ആയിട്ട് മാത്രമേ റിയാക്ഷൻ നടക്കൂ പുവർ ബൈൻഡിങ് പ്രോപ്പർട്ടീസ് ആണ് മോട്ടാർ ക്യാൻ ബി യൂസ് ഫോർ ഇൻഫീരിയർ ടൈപ്പ് വളരെ ഇൻഫീരിയർ ആയ ചെറിയ വർക്കുകൾക്കൊക്കെ വേണം ഉപയോഗിക്കാം അപ്പൊ ഗുഡ് ക്വാളിറ്റി ഓഫ് ലൈം ആവശ്യമില്ലെങ്കിൽ വി ക്യാൻ ഗോ ഫോർ പുവർ ലൈം അപ്പൊ ഏറ്റവും ബെസ്റ്റ് ലൈം ഏതാണ് ബൈൻഡിങ് ഇനി ഫാറ്റ് ലൈം ദെൻ കംസ് ഹൈഡ്രോളിക് ലൈം ദെൻ കം പുവർ ലൈം അപ്പോൾ ഇത്രയാണ് ഫസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ദ ഇൻട്രോഡക്ഷൻ ക്ലാസ്സിൽ പറയേണ്ടത് താങ്ക് യു ഫോർ ലിസണിങ് ഐ വിൽ ബി പ്രൊവൈഡിങ് ടു ദ ക്ലാസ് നോട്ട്സ് ആൻഡ് ദി പി ടി ഓക്കെ സി യു നെക്സ്റ്റ് ക്ലാസ് ബ